What's up everyone, I am the Let Goes. Today we're looking at Trick or Treat, released all the way back in 2007. I would have been only three years old. Interwoven stories demonstrate that some traditions are best not forgotten as the residents of a small town face real ghosts and goblins on Halloween. Tales of terror reveal the consequences of extinguishing a jack-o'-lantern before midnight and a grumpy hermit's encounter with a sinister trick or treater. So for the first time, my sister and I watched this movie on Halloween and wow, it was so confusing but I loved how it turned out. Based off of the cover of the movie and like the decorations I've seen in Spirit Hall, Halloween, I thought Trick or Treat would be a movie about Sam, who's like a little trick or treater with a sack over his head and button eyes, and I was really craving some scary Sam content. What we got instead, I actually really enjoyed. This synopsis stated there were interwoven stories that took place on Halloween, which is why the movie was so confusing, because it starts with this character that does some weird stuff that's like, why did that just happen? We'll find out later on, right? But then they totally forget that character and they go into a whole new set of characters. We're like, what happened to the other guy? Like, I'm so confused about that. That basically happens to the entirety of the movie. We just jump from group to group, and every now and then we might go back to them, but for the most part once their chapter is completed they're pretty much done for the rest of the movie and it was so confusing man my sister and i were like what are we watching but at the very end everything kind of comes together and you're like oh i see that's why that happened because really we were just expecting a storyline following sam and ironically sam is like not even in the movie at all really he's the face of it all but he's not the main character i would say he has very little scenes but the scenes that he are in are pretty wicked immediately when the movie ended i'm like i want a sequel but looking back on it does it really need a sequel it was just it was just a good story like it was just a classic halloween movie matter of fact it might be my new favorite halloween movie i have a lot of favorite horror movies and such but just a classic halloween movie trick or treat is perfect we go from werewolves to zombies to just serial killers it was just like a whole genre of horror all on halloween night and it fits so well because everyone just thought oh it's just a part of their halloween costume no serious stuff was taking place supernatural stuff was taking place and it was just going under everyone's nose and it was really exciting to be like oh that's so cool they have zombies what's next werewolves awesome i love werewolves it's just a very nice classic halloween movie surrounding halloween exploring all of halloween's greatest moments and highlights from trick-or-treating to parties to you know the oh this is where everyone died at that one time 50 years ago it was like playing a homage to all the classic Halloween scary stories, which kind of makes me want to take back what I said about having a sequel. The only reason why I would want a sequel is if we explored some different stories, like, I don't know, Frankenstein or, you know, more into the vampires and maybe a little bit more backstory on who Sam is. Because my understanding is that Sam is kind of the spirit of Halloween. He's what brings life to all these entities and supernatural stuff i'm not sure though i could be wrong it's just he's kind of the face of it so i was assuming that and i also thought the runtime was pretty nice an hour and 40 minutes i think that was a nice a solid number it was enough to where it was long enough and enough to where it left open a bunch of answers that wasn't such a drag but i feel like with trick or treat they don't need to be answered it's just that's just how the spirit of halloween is you know this has been a thing for a long time now sam and all these supernatural things now what didn't i like about the movie but just as a casual movie enjoyer i thought it was pretty fun i don't think there's anything i really disliked about the film left open a lot of mystery and possibility and at first I didn't like that but now I've kind of gained the like that like wow there's so much you know that we could learn there's so much there's endless possibilities but if I were to nitpick something I wish we had more Sam they hinted at him through the entirety of the movie and then he took place towards the end of the movie like as a big character but I guess I would have liked a little more of him so what would I rate this movie well it's creepy it's not scary it's creepy it's a fun time it brings out the best of Halloween and I'm craving to see more even though I don't think we really need more I want to say eight, but the mystery of it all, everything that, you know, what's what's happening behind the scenes here, what's going on, there's so much mystery up in the air, makes me want to give it a nine because I'm so excited to see like what comes after this. So yeah, right now I'm feeling a nine. That'll be the conclusion to my trick or treat review. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on trick or treat? What would you rate it? I actually really want to rewatch it now and just talking about it because it was just, it was just a fun time. So I think I'll go do that right now. Thanks for stopping by. Catch y'all later.